Uh, if you don't care about these people, that's fine with me, ma'am. Hi, Mr. McCain. I mean this with all due respect, sir, as uh, an elected official for our country. We, the people, elected you to be representative of the people and against this great or and for this great nation. But for far too long now, and the rest of Congress, including the executive branch of government, along with the judicial and legislative, have turned your back on the American people and their core values and principles. I can say with great confidence and speak on behalf of all Americans that your actions against this country are treasonous. All of you, against the will of the American people, have aided and embedded the enemy. You and the rest of Congress, including the President of the United States, have went against the will of your people in Syria, in Syria regardless of your position and vote, whether it uh, is a yes or no. It's still a political smokescreen, I believe. Wholeheartedly, you do not care about the will and well-being of, America, of, of America or its people. You lie to the American people about the chemical attacks in Syria. The American people know that it was our government that is most likely responsible. There is strong evidence, including video, that these attacks were carried out by Al-Qaeda. And you advocate starting a war, even maybe world war, by taking the same attack and blaming it on Assad. President Barack Hussein Obama has been supporting terrorism. The United States has been funding and aiding organizations, including the Muslim Brotherhood and Al-Qaeda, for many years now the same enemy we're supposed to be defeating on the battlefield. At least one country in this world stood up against this government terrorism that you guys support in Egypt. The people of Egypt throughout Mohammed Morsi, which Obama supported as well, as countless Christians have lost their lives under evil people such as this. You swore an oath to protect us and pr protect from all enemies, both foreign and domestic. The simple irony is, the domestic enemy now in this country is the people and government of the United States. And McCain and you and the rest of our leaders are accountable for their actions. It's too bad someone like me is not in office to hold you accountable. Because if I was in a position of power or authority, I would have you all arrested and tried for treason against my country under the grounds of 18 U.S.C. 2381 Treason U.S. Code. Whoever owing allegiance to the United States levies war against them or adheres to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort within the United States or elsewhere, is guilty of treason. That is the code. The American people are sick of it. This country rose up against you recently. It's the ratio, hang on, I have a right of free speech. I can finish. The American people opposed the going to war with Syria, which includes many Marines and other veterans by the thousands, was 499 to 1. That is 90%, 99% of the people of this country. So if you and the rest of this government are truly for the American people and representatives of us, I suggest this time you listen, because nobody wants another war or strike in Syria or anywhere else. Bring our brothers and sisters home. I am truly disgusted that you people are my leaders. Well, sir, I look forward to you running for office. Nobody's preventing you from that, even in this treasonous country. Register, I don't know if you're a registered vote or not, and run for office, and, and we'll be glad to put you to the, up for the voters uh, and uh, have their opinion. I put myself up the voters now eight times, and uh, except for deviation on the way to the White House, uh, they, they, have, uh, they have approved of my uh, performance, and uh, yet, and I understand that there's a great deal of controversy about some issues, but honestly, sir, when you say that we are guilty of treason, uh, that is something that, frankly, I can't dignify with a response. I can't, I, I can't, uh, well, well, I can't respond to a charge like that because it would be beneath me.